Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Storify. Um, Storify is a really great tool for any journalist or even any brand um, to kind of tell their story, to pull um, what's being said about them or about an event um, from social media and to pull it together into a story. Um, you can see if you go to Storify.com, that's S-T-O-R-I-F-Y, Storify.com, you'll see that's the simple social storytelling tool. Um, and you can see all the different brands that use it, um, everyone from HBO, Neiman Marcus, BBC, Dell, and a lot of other journalism organizations use it as well. Um, so we're going to use it in this class to tell stories. Um, and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to do that. So first of all, you're going to click login when you go to storify.com. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Twitter account. Um, you could create another account if you want to, uh, but it's easiest to just log in with your Twitter account. And then you'll see all the different featured users that you could follow, different stories that people could um, create with this. Um, and you can kind of scroll through those and read those if you want to. Um, but we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to create a new story. And so um, as soon as you click Create Story, you're going to see this interface where it allows you to choose a headline and then a description. And then down here is where we're going to start adding some social media. And so I'm going to go ahead and add a headline. I'm going to write a story about um, the Bobcat football game tonight. So um, I'm just going to write Bobcats take on UL Lafayette. And I'm going to enter a description. Uh, and that would be just a, a way to kind of further describe your uh, story. The Texas State um, Bobcats will play the UL Lafayette Ragin Cajuns tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, you can write whatever you want to here in the description, um, but it's a way to just kind of give a little sub-headline of, of exactly what your story is. And now um, I can kind of go through and, and search social media over here on the right. You'll see all these different options. Obviously, you'll see the Twitter icon, the Facebook, YouTube, uh, Flickr, Instagram, Google. Um, and then you can also embed a link to a website here. So what's pretty great about this is very click and drag. <laughs> Um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and give it um, some text, and the way that I do that is I just go ahead and click on the white area of the interface, and now it's telling me to add text. Um, I've got some text already written up that I'm just going to copy and paste right in there. Um, you can see the Texas State Bobcats are taking on the UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns tonight at Texas State University in San Marcos, Texas. Here's how some students are getting ready for the game tonight. And so you see that's just a basic way to intro your story. And now over here on the right, I can go and search on Twitter for exactly what is being said about the game tonight. So I'm going to do a hashtag TXST. And when I do that, I'm going to go ahead. You could also search for links, retweets, um, and then you can look for near a certain location if you want to. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and search for TXST and see what pops up. We've got some things about the bus. Um, you know, here's one. Yay. Pack Whacker ready for this game. Um, it's game day. I'm just going to grab this one and drag it right into my story. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this photo of a girl who's getting ready with her Texas State Bobcats t-shirt. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, grab yet another quote here. So I've got three tweets um, and, and this is how they're getting ready for the game. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add some more text down here, and all I did was just click. Um, I'm going to grab some text over here and paste it right in. Um, and if I didn't know, if nobody knew this, tonight is also the faculty and staff appreciation night. So um, what I could do is not just search for TXST, but I could also search for the word faculty. And now um, there's some interesting things being said about faculty um, and I don't see anything about the Texas State game here but you can see how you could search for not just one hashtag but others as well um, so I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> some pictures of the bus um, I'm going ahead and just grab another one 
And ideally, these would be some tweets about um, faculty and staff appreciation night, and obviously that's not. Um, you can also search for Facebook. Um, of course, you'd have to log in to find them, um, but I could also search for Texas uh, State in YouTube. Obviously, nothing right now is probably being videoed and uploaded to YouTube about uh, the game tonight, but you could also search YouTube. You can search for Flickr. You can search on Instagram, and I'm going to go ahead and grab um, some more photos from Instagram of people getting ready for the game, um, however they may do that. And so you see how easy it is just to grab things from social media and drag it in. And the great thing about it is that all this content is being created um, every second. And so this is a great way for a journalist or any storyteller or a brand to pull together a whole story all about um, an event or um, what people are saying about their brand. And so easy to drag in social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google, and then if you wanted to add some text in between them, all you have to do is click and you really pull all these things together into a story. And then at the very end, I'm going to want to add one last piece of text um, to kind of wrap it up. And you know, every story has a beginning, middle, and an end. So I'm going to take this and add it down here at the bottom. The Bobcats have a current record of 3-2 to two and will prove to be a challenging rival to the Raging Cajuns. The game will air on ESPN2 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And so I could uh, end it with that sentence. Now, you could also add links, and that's always a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and link to txstate.edu, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag that to the bottom, too, in case people want to go there. Um, probably be a good idea to link to ESPN2 um, or even the Bobcats um, record, and that would be probably a good place to do that. But as soon as you're done, uh, you're going to go ahead and click Publish, and that's the only way that this thing can be public to the world. So once you click publish, you'll see that it, the story has been published successfully. Now let's view and publicize it. Go ahead and click that. View and publicize. And from here, you can notify everyone via social media exactly um, how you've used their social media within your story. It really helps with um, sharing what you've done. Um, and then also they'll be surprised that they were quoted in your story, that they weren't necessarily looking for that. But um, it's a great way for you to tell everyone that you wrote a story about them. And I'm gonna, not going to do that at this time because this isn't necessarily a story that I'm going to use. Um, and then um, you can always go back and edit it if you need to. But um, that's the basics on how to create a Storify. Very simple to do and easy to promote um, for an event or for anything else that you might be doing.